you said that um, on the way out, just in, in passing, that you own a lot of real estate. Shh. Okay. <laughs> All right. She owns real estate. All right. 53. The, the two, 50, 53, I, I 53, 53 commercial, commercial buildings. Commercial properties. Properties. Yes. How? How do you, how, what's the, how do you start doing that? Because this is, a, I'm imagining take, this is over time. This is over time, you know. And when I was here, I think about when I was here, I think two days later or whatever, um, seven years of having Black Mama Rocker. Wow. Seven years. You you celebrated your anniversary last week. Yes. Congratulations. Which is really, really nice. Okay. But the pivotal thing about it as far as black businesses, and I realize it, that when we we rush too much to try to make the money very quickly and we don't take our time. You know, it's like how you're asking me the process. Yes, the process is go to the government, go to your accountant, go to your attorneys, get some insurance, do all of these things, set your structure and your foundation right first before you get a logo i got people asking me well what do you think about the logo have you spoken to your attorney accountant or insurance (laughs) no for what protect your intellectual property anyway because before you show me something i'm not going to steal it but get your structure together first and that's the same thing that you have to do white folks do that immediately immediately our folks we want to jump the gun and just say okay i got this beautiful logo and this because we want to show the logo on the gram we want to you know we want to show the logo yeah, to, but it's to our mama backwards so yeah. how are you going to succeed if you don't have your structure in place first because at the end of the day the government is going to be is, is the gangster that's the godfather that you're going to have to answer to mm. no matter what you're doing whether you own prop, you know, property or when you say the gangster, is that from just like a tax standpoint, or is that from just everything. process? Process your paperwork, everything. everything. You know, I paid, you know, workman's comp, New York State disability insurance for my employees. That's the government, yeah. right? right? That's required. A lot of times, when businesses do not set their structure up correctly, that's the failing denominator. Yeah. Because you're not thinking in terms of the structure. And I'm a structural, retired structural engineer. So I look at the foundation. Before you put this building up, you need the foundation first. Before you put any beams, right? Before you put any walls. Before you do the frame out. Because if anything happens and there's a deflection with the beam, the building's going to fall down. I'm sorry that went over your no, head. No, no, did but, not. Not this head. Or any I, other I'm head. with you. Yeah, not yeah, any so, other head listening. I'm so, getting ready so, to pass the collection also, plate. And also, too, debt. One of the things that I realize in business, we're going into debt starting the business immediately. That's the same thing as a student loan. You know, and I've had- so and you're I saying don't borrow against your future. You, save up or use your four, you, you use your 401k. I use my 401k because I learned- I learned, you know, this is not the first business. I've had previous businesses. You know, one I sold, one's failed, one's I've sold. You, you, you do that, but then you realize, oh, my God, now I got the perfect map. You want to go in and use something that you can, you know what, I'm going to take my 401K, I'm going to put it all in, but I'm going to bust my ass because that's my money. And that's I need the to put it back. Of, right, and I need to put it back, but I also need to acquire some real estate in order to do that and make sure the structure is right. And that's what's made this successful in order for me to expand into other areas. But be careful with taking your 401k because it's also yes. taxed at a much higher rate, especially if you don't put it back within a certain period of time. And I think what they would they give you 60 days or something to put the money I back? didn't care. I was okay. paying whatever it is. Okay, the 20 so, so it was like 27% or something and it hits you hard on the back end cuz they count right. it as income. It is income. on your taxes when you go to file. So yes. be careful with that. Have a plan for that too. I'm not I'm not saying stating that everybody should do that. You know what I mean? You do what works for you. But for me, I'd rather have just paid the taxes on my taxes because I knew that this was going to, you know, what, something I would have to risk. When did you know that you could break even and make money? And was it the T? Because I'm imagining T while... Let me tell you what happened. My first year, my first year, I made a profit of $76. <laughs> That's good. So that means I broke, profit, yeah. I broke even. And made money. And... On my IRS, it says seventy six dollars. I didn't have to owe them anything, but that was my profit, you know. So I got my money back, but then I took that seventy six dollars and I said, okay, now I got to reinvest it into something else, you know. But you still you you continuously reinvest. But then when you reinvest, you notice that you all of a sudden 
have um, a massive amount of cash that you now got to move to different places. And you start to see that by year three, four, maybe about five. And now you're saying, oh, okay, if I don't want to pay all this money in taxes, I got to move into real estate. Okay, so that was the pivot.